Okay, I've got to reflect triangle A in a line Y equals zero. So let's just see what that line looks like. Always do these things. X is zero, Y is zero. X is one. <laughs> well, Y is always zero. That's what Y equals zero means. X is two, Y is zero. So I get naught, naught, one, zero, two, zero, three, zero. That line there is the Y equals zero line. I could reflect aid in there using tra tracing paper. That goes to there, and I need to label it B. That's done the first one. Second bit I need to do is rotate triangle A 90 degrees anticlockwise with center 0, 0. That means I need to trace A, put my cross on the thing on 0, 0, and then rotate it 90 degrees that way, and it's going to end up being here. You can try it on tracing paper. And I now need to label it C. So I label that C. And then finally, it asked me to describe fully the single transformation which maps B onto C. And you see B and C it hasn't just swung around, it's actually flipped over, so therefore it's going to be a reflection. As soon as I know what it is, write it down. And a reflection is going to be in the diagonal line. It's going to be the diagonal line that goes up here. Try it out, draw it on yours, check to see it does. Uh, but I need to know what the thing for that is. So if I'm not sure, put some things down there, naught noughts on it. One one's on it, two two's on it, and every single one, y value is the same as the x value. So that's the equation of the line. Reflection in y equals x. That's number one done.